This week in VR education, Meta and the MetaQuest 3. If you didn't hear, Meta had their Meta Connect event this past Wednesday announcing the MetaQuest 3, a much smaller and lighter headset with field of view at 110 degrees compared to the 96 on the Quest 2, much higher pixel density, and using the Qualcomm XR2 Generation 2 chipset. Uh, what does this mean? This means that developers are going to be able to create much higher quality simulations that run better and are more interactive, and the headset's going to be lighter and more applicable to the education space so that people can wear it for longer periods of time and feel comfortable in the headset. One of the cons is that it does not have eye or face tracking, although that's not very important at the moment in the education space unless you're doing a lot of research or trying to track emotions, which at the moment a lot of simulations aren't doing anyways, so I don't see it as a big downfall for the education space. One of the most exciting pieces is their mixed reality capabilities, and this is very exciting because it would allow you to bring virtual objects into your classroom without having to be immersed in a fully virtual world, meaning that students could still interact and could share those virtual items in a much more natural way or experience things at home, like let's say having the Roman Colosseum put in front of their TV on the, the coffee table in front of them while being able to see a full simulation come to life in that Colosseum. So very exciting to see this mixed reality capabilities coming to the Quest 3 at consumer headset. Although these educational content and these ideas around the Colosseum aren't things that are developed just yet. So we'll have to wait and see what educational developers like Expert VR create for these mixed reality capabilities so that they can be used within the classroom. Lastly, the Quest 2 is still available and it's at a $300 USD price point compared to the $500 USD price point of the Quest 3 meaning that it's a much more accessible now and if you have applications already ready to go maybe you don't need to get the quest 3 and you can get the quest 2 for the time being at a much lower price point and budget point so overall i would say it's a great upgrade but nothing really groundbreaking until developers get their hands on those mixed reality capabilities and the xr2 generation 2 chipset um, so i would purchase it if you are developing your own content or working with content developers like expert vr to develop your own content but if you already have content or you're just buying stuff off the shelf, the Quest 2 is probably gonna be able to do what you need it to do for the time being. Moving on, they did announce some exciting things in the AI space. So currently, I would say a lot of what they announced is very similar to what ChatGPT and other applications have to offer, but they are working on an AI studio that will hopefully allow developers as well as non-developers to create their own AIs and train new models that are built for specific use cases, which could be very exciting, as well as looking at things like their Tom Brady Brew, who is a wisecracking sports debater who pulls no punches, in their words, is an interesting way to look at how they can bring in celebrities and other people to create more personalized AIs for you to have conversations with. All in all, these are some exciting announcements, but we'll really have to wait and see what developers come up with with all these tools. Um, and also just look at the competition in the market. We have Apple coming out with a new headset, HTC continuing to compete, Google, Samsung, Pico, Nintendo, and many others coming out with new headsets. So waiting to see how they respond will be the very interesting piece here. That being said, I did pre-order a headset, so I'll make sure to share everything that I'm playing around with it once it does come out, as well as when Expert VR starts developing. Hopefully you like that quick recap and check out the comments for more information about the Quest 3 and where you can pre-order. See you next week.